Uh, can I just return to the images of the, the Palestinians uh, stripped uh, and in the back of vehicles and, and seemingly handing in weapons? Um, why not just condemn the images now? Um, wh why wait uh, for uh, an, an investigation, as, you, as you've asked for? As I said, we found them deeply disturbing. I just don't have a, 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 a any additional comment but on it. it. Can I follow up? Is, sure. is there any circumstance in which those sorts of images would be acceptable? Again, uh, we found them disturbing. I don't want to, to, to discuss other potential um, uh, uh, circumstances. We have found the, them uh, disturbing. We've asked them to clarify the circumstances of these detentions, and we're going to um, uh, look to them to provide those details. And, and how long will you wait? Again, we're, that is how long it will take is a question for them. We have pressed them for details about these circumstances. We expect them to provide okay. them. Okay, because the reason I ask is because on, on many different um, moments uh, over the course of the past however many weeks it has been, we've heard the American administration say we've asked for, you know, we're concerned or we've asked for clarification, we've asked for more detail. And yet the moments keep coming. And, and I wonder, um, is it actually the case that you are behind the scenes actually not that worried about Israel's tactics, its military tactics so, on the ground? So or, let, me, let me just... Or, let me, or, or have you lost all leverage with... with so the so uh, I appreciate the gotcha nature of the question. It, let, me, no, no, let, me, let, me, let me just... Genuinely, let me, it's not. That, it's, it's, it's not. Sure. I'm not no, no, Genu I want to be clear. Genuinely, no, no, genuinely it is, but that's okay. It's, I, it's no, fair. No, it's I, not I take... Like, I'm not, I, it's I, not a gotcha If you, if you stop, I'll answer the question. I answer questions of, of all types. Uh, I will say that you should take our words at face value. When we're, say, we're concerned about something, it's because we're concerned. And when we say that we have direct, candid, sometimes quite difficult conversations with the Israeli government, it's because we do. And I will go back to something that I said in earlier in this briefing. When you look at the totality of our engagement with the Israeli government um, over the course of this conflict, there have been a number of times where we went to them and said, this is an action we need you to take. And the action, the reaction from them has been, oh, it's something that we can't do. It will be very difficult. You've seen them come out publicly and reject it. And we work on it behind the scenes and we deliver results. We've done that with respect to pauses. We've done that respect to humanitarian assistance. You've seen us do that just in the past week with respect to fuel. You've seen it, us do it with, with deconfliction zones in the south to ensure that there are places where civilians can be that are the deconfliction sites so they're not struck by the, the, the Israeli military. So we mean very much what we say. We follow up with the Israeli government. Sometimes things don't move as, as uh, quickly as the public would want. They don't move as quickly as we want. But we engage with them on these tough conversations because we care very much about getting this right. We care about protecting civilians. We care about getting access them access to the care that they need. And so we will continue to engage with the Israeli government at all levels on all of these issues. So, so